All right, guys, we've seen team-ups throughout the ages. We've seen Batman and Robin team up. We've seen Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble team up. We've seen Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Not always successful, but we've seen them team up. And what more epic of a team up can you think of? I can't. Can you think of than the police and firefighters? Today we're looking at the Gainer Police or Gainer King Police and Fire Rescue Team. Oh, yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up. We're going to do a review of it. And you need to tell me, is it worth a buck? It's not quite a buck. Yes, it's $1.50, but it's close enough. It's close enough. As you can see, many different accessories. Before we actually look at the figures, we'll look at the packaging first. Apparently, see the figure there. Oh, the figure looks so bad. But oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting it open though. Um, but we've got one side, we've got a very serious cop. Look how serious this guy is. Apparently, the police force doesn't believe in any uh, high end gear. He's wearing like a camouflage t shirt and a vest. Doesn't even look like a SWAT vest either, and he's holding a gun. He looks serious, though. He looks really serious. And it also says, for not, not suitable for ages 0 to 3. On the other side, we've got a firefighter. Not as serious as the cop. This guy's a little more laid back. He, you know, everybody loves a good firefighter. And here we have a firefighter. And uh, it does bear striking resemblance. I'm trying to think of the actor's name. Uh, you know, I can't even think of it. I can't even think of his name. He was in G.I. Joe. What was his name? Dennis Quaid. Thank you. Apparently, Dennis Quaid is, is uh, selling his likeness to dollar store toys. Does that not look like Dennis Quaid? <laughs> awesome. At the top, it says, collect them all to have your whole emergency rescue team. On the back, oh, there we've got the same guys. Firefighters and police. Serious cop, look at that guy. And the happy firefighter. That's it for packaging, though. What we'll do is we'll get this opened up. I know you guys are already excited to see this. We're going to get this opened up, and we're going to have a look... We're going to look at this wondrous toy. Stay tuned, guys. There's so much more to come. All right, guys. He's out of the package. Clearly, this guy is from the side of the police force. He's got a SWAT gear on. And he's got grenades. Very badly painted grenades. It's all this other stuff. Definitely doesn't look like a firefighter, though. Um, very blue, too. Everything on him is blue. Um, unless the criminal paints his apartment this color blue... I don't think he's going to camouflage himself, and he's not going to blend in, that's for sure. Um, his articulation, he has articulation in the neck of all places, not in his head, but in his neck. Uh, he's got articulation in the arms, nothing in the elbows, nothing in the waist, and he also has articulation in the legs. Very loose legs, too. Uh, but I do want to bring to your attention the paint on this. It is horrendous. I can't even make out what's all on here. It looks like maybe some keys. Do we got some keys there? Some bullets. Some bullets were painted. Some weren't. That's how they roll. They, you know, they don't always want all their bullets painted. And then we've just got a mod podge of different stuff on here. I can't even make out most of this stuff, but it, it does look like there's a grenade there. And he's got a watch, which looks like uh, it's three o'clock. So if he had an early afternoon, he'd probably be leaving right now. He'd be going home, 3, 3 o'clock. Um, of his accessories, he had, it says rescue tools. Apparently rescue tools involves a giant shotgun. But uh, clearly this looks like it's from the SWAT team end of it because we've got a SWAT shield. We've got a gas mask. We've got some gas grenades, uh, some, some vests. Some vests with some ninja stars. I just want to bring that to your attention. A police SWAT team 
with some ninja stars. You know, it could be bullet holes. I don't know. It looks like ninja stars. Apparently, they've got ninja police now. Um, of all this, of all the things that are on this rack, you call it a rack, it kind of looks like, I guess, a locker. Even though there's a handle here, you can't open it. It's just hollow on the back. Um, but of all the things that are on here, the only things that are removable, it's not the vest, you can't take these off, can't take this off, can't even take the shield off. The only thing you can take off is his nightstick, a stop sign, stop, stop, and finally, his shotgun, which also has bullets on the one side there. And that's it. So, even though you're buying it and it says, you know, it's got all these accessories, really the only thing you can take off is three different things. Three. That's it. That's all he's got. So, you can give him the stop sign, which I haven't put in his hand yet, so I don't even know how easy this is. Oh, there we go. You can put the stop sign in his hand, so you can say stop. Stop where you are. And you can give him his shotgun. So if he's, uh, oh, let, let me get this in his hand here. Clearly, it looks like they've used a shotgun from a different toy for this guy. Look how big this is. But you can have him, uh, you know, as a crossing guard. You can say, come on, kids. Come on, let's go. And he turns it this way because, you know, if he's walking this way, you want to see the, you want the cars to see the stop. But you'd be like, come on, kids. Let's go. Billy, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. And if a car starts honking, he could stick out his gun and say, Hey, these kids are crossing. Wait your turn. I'm protecting these children. Come on, kids, let's go. Hey, stay where you are. Come on, kids, let's go, let's go. And finally, he comes with his nightstick. Uh, also can be held in his hand, I think. It's about the same size as the other ones here. Let's put it in his hand here. There we go. Eh, it's not great. It's not a great toy. I'll say it myself. It ain't. It ain't great. Uh, the one neat thing, though, is it looks like this is about the size of a Marvel Legends weapon. Not that you'd want to spend dollar fifty on a shotgun, but if you're Punisher, if you want to get a good gun for his for the Punisher, eh, that's a pretty good size, eh? T definitely too big for this guy. Way too big for him. But it'd be good for the Punisher. I don't know if it, that's worth a dollar fifty, mind you, but so I'm going to pose it to you. We'll get him to stand up here. You can almost have him standing inside the locker. What I pose then to you guys, the viewers of YouTube, is this worth a buck? Comment down below. Say yes, it is worth a buck. I I like the playable value to it. I also like the shotgun, and I like a stop sign. Or you could say, hey, this is a piece of crap. I wouldn't even. Why would you waste a dollar fifty on this? You could say that as well. But let me know: is this worth a buck? Because today we were looking at the firefighter and police team up, even though it's just the SWAT guy here. And uh, let me know: is it worth a buck? I'll see you guys next time.